Welcome to the Paranormal Bedtime Stories Podcast. I'm author Todd Chapman, your host. Join me as we explore the mysterious world of the supernatural. From encounters with aliens to sightings of Bigfoot, we delve into it all. I've experienced the paranormal since childhood and even had a near-death experience that led me to become a contact tour guide in Sedona, Arizona. Now, I bring you first-hand accounts from those tours and from individuals who I've interviewed. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss an episode. You can find my books in paperback and for Kindle at Amazon.com or by using the link in my bio. Now, on to our story. Late one evening in 2016, after watching a Holly Holm fight on TV, a woman left her friends and stopped at the lake to have a cigarette. It was around 1 a.m. when she parked her car. When she came to, it was more than two hours later and she wasn't where she parked. In fact, she didn't know where she was. The last thing she remembers is lighting her cigarette. She called a cousin and his friend for help. Based on her description of her surroundings, one of the men had a pretty good idea where she was. When the men arrived, her car was parked in an impossible spot. It was up on a hill and surrounded by trees. She said the car doors would barely open and she had to roll down the window to get out. It was like someone picked my car up from at the lake and lowered it into a small opening on top of fallen trees and rocks where it just barely fit. There was no way I could have driven it up to that location. My car was covered in a fine, glittery kind of sand. The sand was also inside on the seats, windows, and dashboard, she added. There was no way for me to drive the car up to where it was positioned and pointing in the opposite direction. When they tried to pull my car down, the logs and rocks underneath and in front of it caused all kinds of damage. Basically, they dragged my car down a hill and over trees and everything to get it back down to the road. My husband thought I was crazy and making the whole thing up, but he couldn't explain how the car got there. One of my relatives said I called her for help, but that my voice sounded like I was underwater and gurgling. I don't remember calling her, and my cell phone has no record of that call. Also, my socks were wet inside of my boots, but the outside of my boots were dry. When I asked her about seeing lights or a craft while she was smoking that cigarette, she said no, but she explained, there was a protector being standing behind the car. I saw them in the rearview mirror. When I managed to climb out of the car, the figure was gone. She continued, I even reported it to authorities and they told me there were many sightings of strange lights in the surrounding area that night. I never saw lights or a craft and I told them that. I only saw that one being behind the car and had two and a half hours of missing time. One of the men who rescued her is a friend and I asked him what he recalled from that evening. Here's what he told me. As you know, I'm now retired from the federal government. When this took place, we found her up the dirt road behind where I work. The car was in the weirdest spot and I can't explain how it got up there without damaging the car. We ripped the hell out of it trying to get it down, even denting it up in a few places. I still don't understand what happened that night and neither does she. 